Hello friends, welcome to my channel Engineering Thought, I hope everything is going well. Today we will design a cupboard using CompuSoft Winner software. The working with this software is very easy and fast. So let's start. Now you can see there are many projects and designs are already made by us. By double clicking you can see, check or modify it again. But now we will start up with a new project as. Now click new. Type project or room name, for example master room A. OK. Standard OK. Type kitchen. OK. Alternative name master room or maybe same. Double click on name. Here you can choose model also, Paris or Roma. I choose Roma. Select model material type B. Here choose material color, there are many colors we are already imported. I choose color code 564 to all. Simply OK all. Now you can see the working area, which show top, front and its 3D view simultaneously. Now draw room size click here. Right click to choose property. Enter length OK. You can also use its shortcut control plus F5. Now change room height. Right click at mid. Room properties. Ceiling height. Now for adding a box, type W and enter. OK. Other height type. Special height up 50 OK. Now right click. Properties to change its dimensions. Keep height, less 50 mm because bottom skirting or nala. Delete unnecessary front door element. Now you can see it's 2D, 3D, and it's front elevation.
now I, providing a shelf in it. For this click, standard products. Here you can see the lot of objects, which you can simply add up in it. Now open ornaments. Bar supports. Choose this bar by double click. Special height, I providing a 2000 millimeters. Change its value as per box size, also thickness of shelf 20 millimeters. OK. Now change its color which is same of box 564. Now simply copy and paste for other box. You can also change its sizes as per your design and adjust it. Here you can see the top view. It's 3D view. Also it's 2D elevation. In the next video I will be work in these boxes, and add objects in it. In the next video I will be work in these boxes, and add objects in it. So please watch its next part in which I will showing, how to adding drawers, partitions and other objects. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And please like and share. Also leave your comment that how can I make it more effective again. Thank you.